So I'm here with Kyle Sandstrom, outfielder for Lower Columbia. And Kyle, the first question I have for you is, you know, here you're playing college ball. You know, a couple years ago you're playing high school. What is the difference you've seen between uh, that level of competition? I think kind of the main thing is just the competitiveness. You know, everybody around you is kind of the best player on their high school team. So I think coming together, you got. 40 guys full of best player in the high school team so I think it's kind of cool to raise that level of play and it's fun to be a part of. So for you personally you know how do you step up to that, that next level what are some things you've had to focus on and really develop in your game to be the best player you can be? Well I think focusing on the little things kind of mostly I mean you can go hit and field and you know throw but I think what separates really good players at this level is being able to you know base run good you know, um, get dirt ball reads, wear hit by pitches, you know, all those little things that kind of give you an advantage. You know, and to get to this level, you got to have a little bit of motivation, someone to kind of push you along the way. In your life, who is someone that kind of really got you going and made you uh, the player you are today? I'd say definitely my dad. Uh, from me, probably as soon as I could walk, he kind of put a bat in my hand and he actually forced me to throw a left hand. I'm actually naturally right-handed. Kind of wanted me to be a pitcher. But, yeah, it was just kind of, I mean, something I just always remembered doing and just kind of developed an early love for it. Cool. So, also, you know, growing up, a lot of guys will try and, you know, look at professional athletes kind of mimic what they do. Is there an athlete that you kind of uh, mimic or even just follow just because of their talent? Well, I'd say being a Washington guy, I think Griffey was definitely my favorite player and maybe a little Ichiro too. I think those two guys were definitely my two favorites, being left-handed hitters and yeah, definitely two guys I looked up to. And then, uh, you know, also kind of looking at, at how you've developed and stuff like that, is there a coach who you look back and go, man, without that coach, I, you know, I probably wouldn't be the player I am today? Yeah, definitely. I'd say it's probably my high school coach, uh, Donnie Hennings. Um, my freshman sophomore year, I wasn't very big, kind of hit my growth spurt pretty late. So I think, you know, he kind of helped me have my skills and kind of develop that. And then by the time I did grow, I was able to, you know, actually get balls into the gaps and throw the ball pretty well. So, yeah. Okay, and then uh, you know, looking at kids who come out and watch the games and kind of see you guys play, what advice would you give to kids who are you know hoping to someday you know reach the college level or even beyond that? Yeah, I mean, I remember those days, kind of going out to minor league games, college games, high school games, and I think the biggest thing is just if you love it, it's just yeah, it's just kind of if you love it, you'll find a way to do what you need to do to do it, and yeah, I think it's just all about how bad you want it and work ethic and yeah I don't think there's anybody that doesn't isn't able to play college baseball I think it's a matter of how much you want to achieve your goals awesome well thank you very much Kyle yeah thank you